in the ribosome, it's also a process, it's a slightly different process. So now we have RNA, a sequence, but we need to turn that into a completely different type of information structure. That's a process called translation. Now we're changing it into a completely different language from letters to actual protein structures. So I'll draw a second arrow here and then abbreviate that with tran sl translation instead. This particular molecule, the ribosome here, uh, is also a molecule, the structure which we know today. It was discovered by, uh, determined by Tom Steitz, Peter Moore and Minky Rame um, who got the Nobel Prize for this in 2009. It's an amazingly large molecule that contains a ton of mes uh, ribosomal RNA in itself too. The end result of this now is that we're going to turn this messenger RNA by getting pieces, building blocks from transfer RNA, and turn this into an actual protein. So now, after this, the protein is somehow going to fold, and then we have an actual stable structure. And that's the only part where we have an active process. How the structure then achieves its function, that's built into the structure. So you need to know these proteins involved in these processes, and you're certainly going to need to be able to separate replication from transcription from translation. These are very important processes in biology. The other interesting thing is the order of the arrows here, that information only flows in one direction. That's typically true. Um, these COVID-19 vaccines, for instance, we're injecting mRNA, but that mRNA will come in here, right? And then we're going to use that, sorry, it has been transcribed, so it will be translated into a structure and function, but it will never go back into your DNA. It's not changing your genome. And the RNA is pretty unstable, so after a few hours the RNA itself is not going to be around anymore. Under some conditions, uh, you might, if you have certain, a subpart of a population that managed to have mutations or something that gives it better function, evolution and natural selection might favor that so that over billions of years you might have more of a particular sequence. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that in bioinformatics. In general, the information only flows one way here.